Hello and welcome everybody. In today's session we are talking about the all new ComHPC standard. We have an expert here, Christian. You have been involved in the development of this standard. What's it all about? Yeah, uh, thank you for being here. So as I'm the chairman here of the PICMIC uh, subcommittee for ComHPC, of course I know a lot of details and uh, telling the history how ComHPC was started. So it was really the driver here for performance. So we found out that uh, technology, Moore's law is going on here, processes getting faster and faster, but it's also the IOs which are getting faster and faster. So the target was really to bring out a new standard, a new computer or module standard with enhanced performance on the CPU side, on the memory side, but even more important on the IO side. How about the internal interfaces? Of course, some new interfaces have been defined, so like SoundWire is a new interface which wasn't there, but we have been able to, let's say, double the maximum amount of PCI Express lanes from 32, which, were, which was the maximum before, up to 50, 65 even. Uh, at the same time, also the speed went up of, these, of the interfaces. It was four times the speed as before, and we have the potential to double the speed again here. So overall, compared to the fastest ComExpress module and the possibilities with ComHPC, we have about 10 times CIO performance possibilities, with the option to scale up even further. Talk about talking about ComExpress. Uh, it's not a competition for ComExpress. Is it replacing ComExpress or is it upscaling it? How do you sp how do you see it? Not at all. So ComExpress really reaches its maximum performance levels, which can be done. So we have limitations on the, on the form factor, on the on the connectors. But this does not mean that ComExpress is dead. Uh, it's more the other way around. ComExpress is the most successful module form factor ever. And it will stay in place at least for the next century. Uh, I guarantee that. And we, uh, we still offer products, new products on that. But if, you, if it comes to highest performance levels, ComHPC will be the alternative. Not everybody needs it. <laughs> well, this is where the trend is going. You want to have data center performance locally at the edge within your harsh environment. And I think this is what uh, ComHPC has been designed for. Exactly. So it was one thought in mind to really go to the edge with the server performance. So we see a strong trend that data processing uh, based on AI or machine learning must happen at the place where the data is generated at the end. So we have to move from the safe environment and climate controlled environment from a data center. We have to move this performance somehow to the edge. Where it's, that's rugged, that's, that's, that's tough environment. And that's what ComHPC was designed for. Wonderful. As it's all new, what is already there? Uh, what are we? Do we still have to wait for? The specification, the hardware specification itself, was released already a year ago. But the first products are out there, so we have a wide range of products ready. We have coolings. We have the whole ecosystem ready to start off. But the uh, most important document, I believe, was the carrier board design guide, which was just released recently. And this describes in depth what's possible here or how to implement a carrier board. So we want to enable customers to bring their IP, of course, to the carrier boards as fast and easy as possible. This carrier board design guide talks about all interfaces. So there are schematics for all interfaces which are, are possible, but it also talks about the high-speed design of the PCP. So we really talk about PCI Express Gen 5 and possibly beyond. So it takes some experience to do this and we like to ease this process quite a lot. Uh, it even dives into mechanical considerations and gives of course a lot of advice to external documents how to do a carrier, how to do a carrier board. If I don't want to do a deep dive at the beginning, can I still buy uh, a carrier board which does exist already from Congatech? Of course, so we have uh, evaluation carrier boards, we call that, for the server types, also for the client types. And we give away the complete schematics and design information of those carrier boards to the customer. So that's the perfect blueprint to start your design. You don't have to start from scratch. You have a lot of building blocks. You can test and implement it to your own carrier board. And then you can add your own extensions. So based on the requirements you really need. 
So there's pretty much everything there. I need to do a quick start off with this exciting new technology. All is given. And with Conga Tech, I'm on the safe side because you are one of the inventors or one of the main contributors to this standard. Of course, we, we initiated it and we started it. So, and we are one of the very few companies which are solely dedicated to computer modules. So we don't have make systems and applications and whatnot. So we really focus on a smaller part of portion and we're more specialized compared to one or the other. Great. Thank you, Christian, for being today here with us and see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.